what? <laughs> what the heck? Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you my easy, I think it's easy, easy tips and tricks to get an oil-free face as long as possible, really. I can't guarantee how long your face will stay oily. It depends on you and your skin and your pores. But there are a few things that you could do to make sure, here goes my heater. Hi, thank you. Could you, could you wait? I'm just trying to do my intro. There are a few things that you can do to help your face stay dry. And I just want to show you, you're going to watch the video and be like, oh really? I knew that. Hopefully you enjoy the video nonetheless. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Let's just jump in. Okay, first we're going to start off with our face. The first thing I always do, you know, whether I want to go for a dewy look or an oil-free look, I always start off with a lip primer. You know my favorite is the e.l.f. lip primer. This is not the plump and prime lip. I don't need plumping, my loser. Straight from Africa. I just like to prime my lips before my lipstick or lip stain. So we're doing an oil-free face today. I hope this face lasts all day. The thing about the oil-free face with a matte face is that it's going to look matte when you first do it. The question is, is it going to last like that all day? Well, it depends on how much oil your face produces naturally and depends on what you're doing. And it also depends on what time of day it is and also what time of year. So my face is not going to stay as matte during the summer as it will be in the winter. So it just all depends, but you can do what you can to try to ensure that your face stays as matte as possible. Even though my face gets oily during the day, I still have to moisturize my face. Dry skin is going to produce oils if you don't have enough oils on it. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but hopefully it does. So I'm going to set my face with this RCMA no color powder before I actually do my foundation. And this is a nice trick to see how it took away the shine. My forehead was shiny, above my eyelids were shiny, around my mouth was shiny but now it's taken all that away. I'm not gonna do my whole face because I don't have an issue over here. My issue is right here and that's the T-zone. Then next, of course, what you wanna do is use an oil-free or mattifying foundation. What I'm gonna use is this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, which I love. What? <laughs> that just squirted everywhere, even on my monitor. Are you serious right now? What in tarnation is going on today? That just made a mess. Ooh. Oh, wait, oh, too much talking. I forgot. Although you put the pot, that just set me off. <clears throat> wow, a lot of things happening right now with this makeup routine. I don't know what the heck is going on. So the primer that I'm going to use is, I would use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, but I don't like how that was. If you see my other video, which I'll link for you right here, you'll see that the primer did not work for me. I'm gonna prime with this NYX Total Drop Primer. Back to what's on the back of my hand. So, so far we've, we've canceled out the oils with a translucent powder. Then we used a, a mattifying primer. And now we're using an oil-free or mattifying foundation. So already we've done three things to help keep our face matte. Then the highlighter that you use to conceal your face or the highlighting concealer that you use to highlight your face, whatever you want to call it, should also be mattifying, especially since it's going to go in the T-zone. Forgive these rashes. My rosacea is acting up today. Jesus. So what I'm going to use is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is a lot lighter than my skin tone. I do realize that, but the foundation that I have on is dark, so hopefully it all balances out. Putting on the back of my hand, this dries down very matte and it's 24 hour wear too. So if you plan on being up all night, then <laughs> this is going to be good for you. See how it's light. But once I do my whole face, as you know, it'll all come together. Then what you do is set your face with some translucent powder, or if you want to use banana powder or any kind of powder that you use to set your concealer, make sure you do that and set your face. You could at this point set your whole entire face, but I go in with a powder that matches my skin tone, as you already know if you've been watching my videos. So the translucent powder is what I use just to set my concealer. I love to use Maybelline Fit Me in the color dark. It's loose. Even if it's a pressed powder, it'll still do the job. Just use whatever you feel. The next step I will do is powder my forehead, do my eyebrows, and then powder my face. So I'm gonna just do all of that and then come back. So I've done my eyebrows and I've concealed them to the bottom and now I'm taking some of the RCMA No Color Powder to set the concealer and then also to set my eyelid. You know, the eyelids get oily. So it's important to set those. Even if you're gonna do eyeshadow, make sure you set your eyelid because you'll find that sometimes the eyelid gets oily and then it makes the eyeshadow crease. So there's the eyelid and then I'm going to take my face powder which is the Maybelline powder on my brush and put it over my eyelid. So now I've got two powders on there which will really help 
the eyelid to stay matte and obviously the brown powder just brings back the color just blend that a little bit into the brow bone so it looks natural so you see what a difference that makes I feel like this eye looks more attractive and more appealing and more put together than this one so we're just doing oil free all around take some on your brush pat it off and then apply evenly over the eyelid. Now, obviously for an oil-free look, you could do eyeshadow, but today I don't have much time. So this is my I'm in a rush look. Now I'm gonna set my whole face with this powder because my face is looking very ghostly and that's not okay. And now I'm gonna contour. This doesn't matter as far as the oil-free face is concerned because it just doesn't. But if you're wondering, this is an oil-free prep. I think it's oil-free. Hold on a second. Nope, I'm not even. Mm -mm. Fragrance, non-comedogenic, talc-free, hypoallergenic. What does non-comedogenic mean? Comed non-comedogenic. Hey, this is like new English. Let me ask Siri. What does non-comedogenic mean? Non-comedogenic means denoting a skincare product or cosmetic that is specially formulated so as not to cause block pores. Oh, wonderful. Great. Thank you, Siri. Here's the console. Yo, there's just something about having pimples on your face that just make you feel like your face is not... Ugh, just ruins the whole makeup look. These rashes in the middle of my forehead like that not really giving me the zhuzh that I need. Okay, for an oil-free face, do we do highlighter? I don't know. What do you think? I remember back in the day when highlighter was not popping. I never did a highlighter. Do we do it? Oh, I am gonna do the inner eye highlight because that's a must. Comment below if you love an inner eye highlight. Do you always do an inner eye highlight? Is that just your thing? Do you do that regardless? Look at that. I overdid it. Lord have mercy. Why? Do you always do an inner eye highlight? Let me know. Do you do it now because you see my videos? Have you been doing it? What's the deal? Because there's no look for me without an inner eye highlight. It's just not possible. I don't think it's even I don't I think it's against the law it should be I mean an inner eye highlight just really takes your look up a few notches you know I know that I overdo my inner eye highlight you don't have to do all of this I think I'm gonna do no highlighter on my face today this is weird this reminds me of 2013 where I used to do my face and I didn't put highlighter here because at that time highlighter was not popping it wasn't in it wasn't what was up and now that it is what this feels weird but I'm gonna keep it like this because this is a matte oil-free why why am I not in focus? What is going on? Oh, this is a matte oil-free face. This is weird. So I feel like my lips should also be matte, you know? <laughs> I have not even figured out what outfit I'm wearing to work. I hate when that happens. So when I come and do my face, I just be doing whatever. This lip is Ultra Matte Lip Stain from ColourPop in the color Stingray. And then this is the same company, Instigator. <laughs> Whenever I do my lip, I have to like... <laughs> pose a little bit <laughs> and right now to set my face I would normally use the Scandinavia finishing spray but this Scandinavia stuff I don't know I don't understand what is going on this is my third bat first of all I've been buying this for years and I had it's happened on two occasions where something happens with a nozzle and rather than it spraying nicely and like finely evenly all over my face the spray goes like this and it's like what in the world so one time I commented on Instagram like my spray nozzle is jacked up and then thankfully Scandinavia sent me two new ones actually three I think it was like one oil control primer setting spray and then the bridal finishing spray I was so thankful I've had that for several months now and I've been using it it's almost done but now all of a sudden again it's doing the same thing so when I spray it I'm not sure I'm not gonna spray my camera it's too expensive but it sprayed like here and here so I can't even use this this is what I normally would use but this is not this is not happening right now but I have lots of options one of them is the covergirl look lock up spray there's a elf one doesn't really matter okay so here we are with the oil free matte face without any highlighter I'm so proud of myself forgive the curls my hair has not laid down like it's supposed to I'm sick to my stomach this is my oil free face hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment and let me know do you prefer an oil free face do you do a highlighter every day do you do it only once in a while what is your favorite oil-free foundation powder? Let me know because I'm always looking for more things to try out. As always, let's give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the name of our Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bye.